I don't know what this one is called, but I'm going to call it Style Change. It probably has another name, but that's the name I have written down, and that's what I'm going to go with. Isn't it called Film Styles on the show? Called what on the show? Film Styles? Or Genres or something? Genres, whatever. Uh, whatever it's called, I'll explain it to you. Mark and Bob are going to start doing a scene. They can do the scene, whatever tone, however they see fit. They're just going to do some improv. I will come in and tell them to change the genre of the scene. So as if it was a movie, maybe it's a comedy. And I tell them to change it to uh, an action movie. I tell them to change it to a romance, whatever have you. And they have to adapt the feeling, the mood of the scene to fit the genre. All right. Easy peasy. Uh, here is the scene. Mark, a new hire who desperately needs to keep his new job, suspects that his boss, Bob, is a vampire. Hello, Mark. Uh, how, how's it going? How's your first week going? How's it going? Uh, good, good. Do I need to give you permission to come into my office? Oh, that'd be nice. I, like, it's, it's not so formal, though. It, look, you could call me, uh, Drac, okay? Just, Drac, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> nicknames, you know, and, and, but can I come in, though? Um... I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna. Can you stand just a little bit? I'll there? just wait I here. I'll just really wait here. Well. That's fine. No, that's really fine. Good. I don't. Yeah, no, I don't need to get any closer. That's fine. Uh, listen, so I mm -hmm. know they gave you the numbers um, for your quotas you're supposed to meet. And yeah, um, yeah. it's your first mm -hmm. week. It's your first week. So I don't want to suck on you too hard, but uh, I. It's. Oh, what? Uh, I'm sorry, it's just a saying. From 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 where I'm from, that's that's sort of it's um no, don't don't mind that. Uh, look, I just say yeah, you gotta you need you need some time to get up to speed, and that's okay. Drama, you're not good enough. Listen, Drac, I lost my dog, I lost my house, I lost my wife, I lost my husband, I lost everything in the war, and I didn't know where to turn to, and I came here. I've learned in my time not to judge a book by its cover, and you, you've got the. Oh, most horrifying cover I've ever seen, but I'm not judging you for that. I'm trying my best, but it's really, really, really hard with the things that I've seen. That's a tragic story. It really chokes me up a little bit. It, blah. Well, <clears throat> you okay? Despite all that, if you don't want to lose your job on top of all those other things you listed, you're going to need to pick it up, okay? Horror. This company will never survive without you. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't deserve to survive. Maybe it deserves to have the life sucked out of it. I guess we'll find out together, won't we? Unless you think you have what it takes. There's someone standing right behind you. They look just like you. That's my twin brother, Crad. Oh, all right then. Don't worry. Don't worry about him. There's another person standing behind him that looks just like me. That's not my twin brother, Crad, at all. Wait. Who, who is that standing by him? Him? It looks just like you. Is there someone standing right behind me? But weirdly, no. There's not. Romance. I wish there was. Why don't you come inside? All I could see is your eyes. <laughs> okay. Get in here, Drac. Can I call you Drac? Please, call me Drac. I was enthralled from the moment we locked eyes. Look, this job might be sucking the life out of me, but sometimes I wish you... sucking the life out of me, too. <laughs> Superhero movie. And there's no time for that. We must get to the shipping floor. I hear that there's some, some, some shelves fell over and uh, I think we have a duty to go and make sure everyone's okay and maybe help them clean up. It's fine. The leading scientist in the area said that there's no risk of any earthquakes happening. That meteor won't come anywhere close to Earth. And also, I'm, I'm gonna retire tomorrow. <laughs> Well, you have earned your retirement. Sorely earned it. You've only been at the company a week, but I feel like we'd be nowhere without you. Yeah, I can't wait for the gamma radiation test. Fantasy. Glenor the radiation wizard has informed me <laughs> that his tests will soon be complete. And, uh, he's found some anomalies that I think we should look into, but not before I give you this. Shing! Oh my god. This is Gliblon, the blade of blades. It can cut any blade, including itself. Be very careful. That's incredible. I'll cherish it for the end of my days. Comedy. Sitcom style. Hey, Mark. Good to see you again. Uh, I met this girl on my way to work this morning, and uh, I told her I had a friend that would be great for her. I wanted to set you up on a blind date. What do you What do you think of that? Huh? Is that what you gave me the sword? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that'll be that'll be very impressive. She seemed like a sword girl, if you know what I mean. Ooh. <laughs> 
Let's <laughs> see. Sorry. Am I helping or hurting you? I, I feel like I, threw, I ruined it with comedy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Minus 10 points to me <laughs> for the horrible laugh track and ooing. Ooh. I was trying to, oh, maybe I should have, oh, the sword. I don't know. No, I got what you meant. I was just like, what the fuck is, what the fuck is a comedy? <laughs> what is the, <laughs> okay, of all things to get hung up on, I didn't know that would be the hard part. <laughs>